Good morning. Today we're going to do an informative video on solar innovation suspended fogging systems. If you look off to your right, you'll see here we're showing an eave mounted system. This would simulate a system that would have possibly shades above or maybe not, uh, depending upon the height at which you're looking to fog it's your plants in which you're growing and what relative humidity levels you need to maintain in the greenhouse. Directly above my head here, this is a suspended fogger. This is actually a four-way nozzle. If you look here, it's suspensing in all four directions. This is here to simulate something that would be significantly higher and could be hung down possibly four feet from the ridge or six feet from the ridge, maybe even hung down as far as maybe just six feet above the plant level depending upon your specific project requirements. Uh, the purpose of this video today is not only to show you the fogging system, but the amount of water that it does emit. Um, take note to the floor and how dry that it is. Okay. Now if you'll go back up and look at the eave here, you can see that we're basically showing one fogging head about every 48 inches. We can increase that or decrease that depending upon the amount of humidity you need to maintain inside your greenhouse how many times per day you want the system to run, and also the amount of water that you may or may not be allowed to emit onto the floor. So I'm actually going to go behind me here and turn on the system, uh, which will simulate if you were turning on from a micro control system or some other solenoided control system, or possibly just a manual control I'll be showing here today. It is a very fine mist, it's actually considered a fog, it's a foggy system. I am standing here and I am, I am getting wet though, it's important to know that it is actually throwing water. That's the difference between a system that uses a fan and one that uses just gravity to pull it directly to the ground. There's nothing mechanically moving this system uh, and pushing the water towards any one direction, so it's only coming down to the ground. If you use a fan with it, it's going to be a little bit better. Um, if you use some other means of cooling to move, push the air, that's another option as well. But it's important to note that in a fogging system, without a fan or without an aquifer, it's falling directly to the ground. So now if we'll look here, you actually see that we are starting to get some puddles of water here. Okay? And that will stay there then until the system is shut off or until it you know, then evaporates. Um, and like I said again, we can regulate the amount of water that's going to be hitting the floor by the amount of head, the number of heads that we have and the amount of humidity that we need to achieve. Then you shut the system off or the system automatically turns off until the system calls for more humidity which would be in your program settings or until you manually turn it on again. 